You look good from this angle. I look good from all angles. <laughs> So this is our campsite. We are at the San Rafael Swell. We are south, getting towards Hanksville, north of Goblin Valley State Park. And by golly, isn't it gorgeous out here? The San Rafael Swell is a large geologic feature located in south central Utah, about 16 miles west of Green River, Utah. The swell is also part of the Colorado Plateau region. Since the swell is technically a desert environment, most people do not realize that there is actually the San Rafael River, which goes through part of the north and southern parts along the swell. As you can see that there sometimes can be cottonwoods in this area and other vegetation that you won't see in other parts of the swell. This is a good sign in the desert that there is water since cottonwoods require a lot of water in order to survive. The lower part of the San Rafael Swell is mostly desert landscape. Where we were camped, we stayed down in the desert area where if you're lucky, you're probably gonna see several birds, but if you're really lucky, you'll probably see some antelope like we did. The swell attracts hikers, backpackers, horseback riders, trail runners, and all-terrain vehicle ATV enthusiasts. There are features such as many steep, narrow slot canyons in this area as well, which are popular with technical canyoneers. In this area in Utah and adjacent areas, there are many technical canyons. This is a geological feature of this region. There are also popular destination for rock climbers. For us, we are more into the off-roading enthusiasts and we have found that there are many areas in the swell that there are, may not be four-wheel drive roads for full-size rigs, but might be better off for ATVs. Tundra, tundra, tundra. They're all good. Stop <laughs> looking me. Yep. Yep, the thing was good plates, so otherwise I'd take it right to the diff. Good plates are amazing. Alright, my rear tire was gonna go over it, right? Oh yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. They had a rock in there. Oh, they had a rock in there probably for a while. There we go. What are you doing? Wow, I think I hit the frame, huh? I don't think you hit the frame. I don't know. I got wider. We go forward or backwards? I think we back up and take our losses and not sorry, just not go down this anymore. It's fine. We look that tall, really. All right. I'm gonna hit. Then hopefully just turn around. So Okay, you're gonna hit right there because there's a dip. You're flexed or whatever on on the other side, and so you're gonna hit on the back um, thing that goes to the rear. Back okay? Yes. Yes. I see where it hit now. Oh, you make it? In the higher box. Right, let's get you it. look good from this angle. I look good from all angles. Okay, you're okay. Okay, and I want you to turn as close as you can to the bank. Go, yeah, go the other way. Yeah, passenger. Yeah, there you go. Now go straight back, straight back. There you go, now turn towards me like you're gonna hit me. You're okay. 
Your pat, the sharp rocks right there. The sharp rocks way back there. So you're okay. So now you can turn however you need to. You're away from the big rock. Then I'll get you over the sharp rock here in a second. I think you can turn around in here just fine. I think so. Hug this side. You're okay, you got plenty of room. Okay, careful. No, uh, uh, uh. back up very slowly. You're about to hit the body. Okay, go forward. Straighten up and go forward. Okay. Oh, we need to back up a little more again. Your tire's gonna go over and it's gonna hit the sidewall. You need to go a little bit more careful. No, ah, don't, don't turn that way. I don't like it. Yeah, like that, do that. Okay, that's better. Now go, go straight. You watch the pointy rock, I got this one. Oh. Oh. We're good, we're good, we're good. Skin of our teeth, we're fine. 